Hello everyone. I have a Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 arriving tomorrow. This video isn't so much about the Pi as much as something I'm doing to prepare for it. While I'm fairly comfortable with running this without a case, I don't want the electrical connections underneath to be exposed. Instead of purchasing something to place under the board, I'm going to cut something out of the acrylic that I have here in my house. The underside of the board that I'm using has several connectors. Uh, there's a PCIe connector, a CR1220 battery connector, HDMI, USB, SD card slot, and a few other ICs. I thought this would make for a great opportunity to become more acquainted with my CNC router. Now thankfully there are some diagrams of the layout board on a manufacturer site. Uh, the diagram provides the measurements for the board. And yes, these are the same dimensions and hole positions as for Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. Uh, another diagram shows you the layout of the Compute Module 4. Now I also use the 3D drawings from resources. Uh, this drawing is a DWG or AutoCAD file which is great for extracting measurements about the board. Now I'm new, I'm new to using modern CNC machines. I still wanted I still need to learn how to do this for my CAD software, but I wanted immediate results. So I opened a code editor and typed an SVG description for what I wanted. I checked how it looked from within my browser and I printed it to paper to ensure the size was correct and the holes lined up with the Pi board. I imported the SVG into Easel. Uh, from there, I had to set the depth of the cut and position the drill holes uh, where I previously had circles. This is an, an aesthetic decision on my part, but I wanted the outline of the CM4 to be carved into the board. So the adjustments I made from Ezo included specifying the material thickness. Now, despite my acrylic having a label for the thickness, I found it didn't conform to the label, so don't trust the labels. Uh, this acrylic was labeled as being 0.118 inches thick. Uh, before cutting, there's some calibration that's needed uh, I've got a second piece of acrylic under my material to prevent the machine from cutting into its platform. Uh, and I did crude calibration by moving the height of the bed until I could no longer slide a sheet of paper under it. And that was marked as a zero position for the Z-axis. Now this cut takes a while. I intentionally had the machine to move as though this were a harder piece of material. Uh, skipping ahead after the machine drills all of the holes, it starts tracing the other cuts. Here it starts with the more shallow inner groove. Uh, it follows the same path going a little deeper each time until the pathway uh, is completely cut. After the last iteration is complete, it moves to the deeper outside cut. This also takes several iterations to complete. And this is the end result. The cut piece is still attached with a thin layer of acrylic and paper. Now I was able to just fold it right out. The remaining acrylic easily peels off. As a quick test, I attached the cut piece to another pie board to see how it aligned with the standoffs. And it fits just fine. I'm happy with the results and I plan to do some more complex cuts next. Now I intentionally ignored the width of my bits when performing this cut. I knew for this application I could do that and still have results within toleration limits. I won't always be able to do that. Uh, that's something I'll have to account for in my design phase. Now, I'll have to come back to that some other day. On Instagram, I had posted a brief preview of how to host a site from a Pi. I'll be making videos for that next, like in a week or so. But I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more content like it, uh, you can find it on my blog over at blog.j2i.net and also with my other accounts. 
Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments area below. Until next time.